Welcome to Hughes Easels. Today we are going to demonstrate the Model 210. The Model 210 has all the same uh, characteristics as the 3000 and the 4000 with the counterbalance up and down movement. It doesn't have the sideways movement though. Uh, reason being is that it shortens the whole base. It allows you to put it into a much smaller studio space. But it does have this unique uh, feature here of the up and down. We uh, build them the same way with the tray with the two pins. You can fold this down underneath so that you can make your brush strokes off of the canvas. We use the saw teeth, which uh, keep the canvas up off the wood. The top clip has the saw teeth. Uh, the saw top clip can also be reversed. It has a foam on the opposite side, so if you're doing something with a frame and you don't want the soft teeth to maybe mark it up, you can flip the top clip over. So you can raise it up this way. It has a tilting mechanism at the top for reducing glare. Loosen this up. Also on the 210, there's a back brace. The back brace, when loosened, can allow you to tilt it actually forward more so that if you're working with pastels, the powders are falling off. Or you can tilt it back for backwards uh, tilting. Let me collapse this back to where it was on the straight. Because the back brace is so unique that you can actually physically loosen this knob and lay this unit all the way down to the floor. Well, let's say you wanted to maybe slide it underneath the bed or get it totally out of the way. It's totally flat. All right, let's tilt it back up. It is a little heavy, so it's not something you'd want to do every day, but it does give you that versatility. Okay. Now, right now, if we move this top clip to the top, we could lock in a 36-inch painting. Let's say we wanted to do something taller. Well, we can remove this brass pin, and this brass pin, and this will expand up now to five feet. And we'll put this pin back in. Now we can lock in a painting up to 60 inches tall, and if our ceilings were permitting, we can still move it all the way up to paint the bottom of it comfortably. So we can take it to the floor to paint the top of it. Uh, they all come with counterbalance weights. So if the painting is heavy and has some weight to it, you add the counterbalance weights. These are made of steel. The uh, 210 comes with four of the longer ones and one of the shorter ones. With this combination, you can usually counterbalance about any painting there is. The counterbalance weights go onto the weight box. Let me put a painting on here and we can demonstrate a little bit how those counterbalance weights work. Uh, also, there is a locking system on the side, a hole over here with a series of holes on this side that you can lock this carriage from moving. We recommend you do that when you take and put a painting on or take one off, just so nothing's moving while you're trying to collapse it or put a painting on. So we're going to collapse this down. We're going to remove these two pins. This allows this carriage to come back. Back in. We'll grab this uh, kind of underpainting here. Put this on. Bring our top foot down. Now we can remove the pin on the side that we were locked. This painting doesn't have a lot of weight to it, so we really don't need a counterbalance weight. But if it was heavier, thicker, maybe made of plywood. This is where these counterbalance weights that we were just talking about come in handy. When you take this down to the bottom, you add the counterbalance weights to the weight box. By putting these here, it reduces weight over here. So now by putting that on, you see this goes up pretty easy, goes down a little harder. So you really wouldn't need one, but some of the paintings that you have will be heavier than this, and you will need them. So let's take the weight back off. Now another model that... Uh, that we make, and we can very easily do with this one, is our display easel. Our display easel is basically this easel, but with a light on it. So let's demonstrate how that works. Take this off. On 
By the way, this particular unit is made of walnut. Um, our regular 210s that we do are made of oak, but we do have the capability of making them out of walnut, out of mahogany, out of maple, uh, whatever color you might like. Uh, there's an upcharge for these woods, but as you can see, this walnut is absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's go back to turning this into a display unit, which really comes in handy if, if you're in a small place, you're painting in your living room, and when you're not painting, you have guests over, you want to use the easel to display maybe your work, or you have a gallery setting, you want to uh, paint in there maybe at night or when customers are coming in, but then maybe you got a showing and you want to just use it to display your work. You simply take this clip off, manufacture a second clip that has a light to it. Now this is an accessory that uh, you purchase separately. This goes onto the easel just like the other clip does. It has a, a screw on the top for tightening it. You bring this down. You move the cord to the back. And it's best to go over top of the weight box because you're probably going to have to paint up here so you're not going to see the cord. You will plug the light in. finished work. We'll put this on the easel. We'll loosen our knob and bring our top clip down. Now we can bring this up to a good presentation height. We'll turn on our light. And voila! We have a, an actually beautiful display easel that uh, could have been a few hours ago that you were actually working on and making your life very simple on painting. Now, with this painting on here with a frame, it does go down a lot easier. So I'm going to grab one of those counter mount sleeves that we've talked about, probably one of the smaller ones. We'll bring this down. We'll add the counter mount sleeve. And now we can move it up and down with ease. You can also lock this carriage from moving, as we talked about earlier. So if you had a guest come on over and they happened to lean on it, not going to take off on them and push the painting to the floor. Uh, very unique easel, very versatile. And by buying the, uh, the add-on light kit, uh, it really makes it very versatile. So uh, I can't really tell you much more about the 210 other than it's a, just a great easel for small space, gallery environment, display environment. Uh, it just, it's just a, a winner all around. Thanks for watching.